today we are going to learn how to divide a line segment into number of equal parts and we will be doing construction divide a line segment into number of equal parts it's a very beautiful construction so let us take an example and try to understand this divide ab it's a line segment and its length is given as 7 cm divide ab is equal to 7 cm into 6 equal parts let us see how we can do this construction so i will be writing the steps also so step 1 is with the help of a ruler and a pencil we will be drawing a line segment AB which is 7 centimeters. Very simple. So step 1 is very simple. Draw AB which is 7 centimeter. So let us write this also. Step 1. Draw AB is equal to 7 centimeter. Let us see what is step 2. Step 2 is at the point A, you see that this is a line segment, it has two end points A and B. So at the point A, with the help of a ruler, we will be drawing a ray. And let us name this ray as AX, such that angle XAB is an acute angle. What is an acute angle? Yes, its measurement is less than 90 degrees. So you can, you can draw this ray the way you feel like. But remember, angle XAB should be an acute angle. So step 2 is draw angle XAB such that it is forming... An acute angle right so let us see what is step 3 step 3 is we will be now using an interesting thing which we have learnt in the chapter parallel lines yes you are right at B we will be trying to draw a ray rather construct a ray a y such that angle XAB equals angle ABY. Now you can imagine it like I am drawing the rough uh, sketch over here. Till now we have drawn AB. Right? And uh, we have uh, drawn this AX. Let us assume that this is angle 1. And at B now we have to construct a ray BY such that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 or uh, we said because we need to do this construction so we will say we need to construct angle 2 such that it is equal to angle 1 why we are doing this okay uh, we are doing this because in this situation if you will observe the lines ax and this uh, by and transversal ab so, angle 1 and angle 2, they are making alternate interior angles. And we know that if alternate interior angles are equal, then uh, AX and BY will be parallel. Isn't it? So, we need to construct angle 2 such equal to angle 1 to get this BY parallel to AX. Right? So, let us see how we do that. So, for that... We choose any radius and with A as center, we draw an arc which cuts this AX and AB at two points. So, let us take these points as P and Q. Now, with the same radius and B as center, we draw an arc which cuts AB at point R. Now, you just measure how much is PQ. You put the 
needle of the compass at Q and tip of the pencil at P. This is how we measure. We measure PQ and then with R as center, draw an arc intersecting the previous drawn arc and let this point be S. Right? Now with B, starting from B, join BS and extend it to make a ray BY. Now you will see that this angle ABY is equal to angle BAX. Now, alternate interior angles are equal. So, AX is parallel to BY. So, AX is parallel to BY. This is up to this we have done. So, what will be step 3? What, what we are going to write? Yes. In step 3, we will write down construct BY which is a ray such that angle AB y is equal to angle x a b why we have done this yes because this is making a pair of alternate interior angles now what is the next step step four step four is very interesting uh, we will see in how many parts we have to divide a b we have to divide a b into six equal parts so what we will be doing is with A as center and you can, uh, you have to basically start from this point A. You, you can choose any radius and we need to mark arcs on uh, AX. How many arcs we have to mark? Yes, we will be marking till we get six equal parts. Starting from A. So A, A1, A1, A2, A2, A3, then A3, A4. How many parts? 1, 2, 3, 4. Then A4, A5. So this is fifth part and this is A6. So what we have done? On AX, draw arcs such that a a1 is equal to a1 a2 is equal to a2 a3 is equal to a3 a4 which is equal to a4 a5 which is equal to a5 a6 similarly you need to do starting from the point b so with b as center draw arcs on by such that now you can also name these points and write the sentence on your own how many arcs you have to draw yes this is b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 and b6 so what we have done steps 5 write down step 5 Yes, step 5 is on BY, draw arcs such that, yes, you tell me, BB1 is equal to B1, B2 is equal to B2, B3 is equal to B3, B4 is equal to B4, B5 and the sixth one, B5, B6. Right? Now the last thing. The last thing is we will be joining A with B6. A1 with B5. A2 with B4. A3 with B3. Then A4 with B2. A5 with B1. And A6 with B. Now, what do you observe? Yes, we have got these parallel lines. And you will see that this AB 
is divided into six equal parts and you can name these points of intersection as c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 so what will be the last point yes step 6 you will be writing join a b6 a1 b5 a2 b4 and likewise go up to a6 b and these when we join you see the point of intersection of these lines with a b mark this point of intersection as c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 right and what is the result write down the result result is very important what is the result the result is c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 are the points on ab such that now you see what are the six equal parts of ab ac1 is equal to c1 c2 is equal to c2 c3 which is equal to c3 c4 which is equal to c4 c5 and which is equal 